He's made clear his uh, interest in revenge uh, and recrimination against anyone that disagrees with him. The Supreme Court this week made clear he could do pretty much whatever he wants as president and not be held liable for it, be immune. And a compliant Republican Congress won't be a check. This would be a very different America, and I don't think uh, enough people realize it. And I don't think enough people believe Trump. You did not name a potential successor in the press release that you sent out. That's right. Why not? Because I'm not an advocate for any particular candidate. I'm an advocate for uh, preventing the demise of our democracy from Trump and putting our strongest candidate possible. Uh, I think that uh, there are a number of people that could fill that role. Some are governors, some are senators, perhaps a cabinet member or two. I'm sure the vice president will want to be engaged. It's obviously the name that's been floating around in the last 24 hours has been the vice president, Kamala Harris. If the party does say that she is going to be the presidential candidate, would you support her? Well, I support President Biden if he declines my request to uh, step aside because it's so vital that we prevail in this election. And I would support her. I don't think this is a matter of handpicking someone or some kind of backroom, smoke-filled room deal. Are you worried that you have given Republicans more authority and power in making this call by saying that you don't think Joe Biden is the right fit for president? Well, there's a difference between saying he's not our strongest candidate in this race and not liking him or not saluting the many accomplishments he's had uh, and not following the latter category. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.